Well, many things in our region are starting to open up as well. The Williams County Historical Society shut its doors as a safety precaution during the pandemic. Well, during that time, members were working hard to make improvements for visitors. Brooke Slyer is live now with the details. Yeah, good morning, Abby and Dave. Well, I am really excited to be here at the Williamson County Historical Society this morning. And as I've been showing, I am here at the jail and I am joined by President Sam. So Sam, tell me a little bit about how the jail is tied to the Historical Society and what all that you guys do here. Okay, uh, the new courthouse was built, I should actually say new courthouse, it was a new courthouse back in 1971 and they replaced the courthouse and the uh, jail at the same time and we ended up as a historical society ended up with this for one dollar from the county. So we have a, uh, we've had a historical society since 1954. Our job is to conserve and preserve local history and help people with genealogy if we can. Well, you guys got a steal for that uh, one dollar deal right there. Yeah, we did. And, you know, I've been in some of these different cells just kind of looking around, you know, what was life like for one of the uh, inmates here as long as along with the sheriff? Well, um, it probably wasn't very easy. There's uh, not very good heating in this building. There's not any cooling at all. So it's going to be really hot in the summertime, very cool in the wintertime. Uh, the sheriff's department ran very on very low budgets. So often they had to have trustees that were left in charge of the building. So it's kind of like giving the keys to the inmates and hoping they don't leave while you're gone doing something. And this is one of the permanent exhibits here, correct? It is. This is one of four cell blocks. Uh, we've got actually got two of these cell blocks left in this building. We've got this one left for display purposes, but originally there were four of these and they would have been segregated all the way up into the 1960s. Oh, wow. Learning something new every day here. And so we're going to be talking about some of their new exhibits they've been working hard on when they were closed for the pandemic. That's coming up later on the show. But for now, Nick, I could feel the humidity in the air this morning, that weather you can wear.